And we begin tonight with this, a very troubling video. You can see that it shows what appears to be a CMS student attacking a school bus driver and the bus monitor. Well, tonight I spoke with a CMS board member and a community activist about efforts to stop violence like this and hold students accountable. Strong reaction tonight to video posted to social media appearing to show a Rocky River High School student attacking both a school bus driver and the monitor. Oh, I'm hot. This is an assault case. This ain't no suspension. Will Adams is co-founder of Team True Blue, an organization working to keep kids at risk of veering down the wrong path on the straight and narrow. I mean, I really don't get it. I'm confused at how it's to the point to where a child can get up and do that. And it's OK. He says the rate of students involved in violent incidents is increasing at an alarming rate. Shootings, fights on campus, and attacks on school staff and fellow students. When do we start handing out harsh punishment for actions such as that? You know what I mean? Like, when do we send the message that enough is enough? When you instill love and hope into a child, then, you know what I'm saying, they know right from wrong. We've received numerous emails into the Channel 9 newsroom from people identifying themselves as CMS faculty and staff who say they don't feel safe or supported by the district. We as a board have to make sure we create a frame framework that, that protects our students and our staff so that they, that they feel safe. Charlotte Mecklenburg School Board member D. Rankin is proposing the district take an even harsher zero tolerance policy for students when it comes to violence. We still may have to identify a place where they can go and get a receive a positive and good education. But if you think that those type of acts are OK, then CMS may not be the place for you. He echoes that for students who consistently record such events and post them to social media. I know there's policy that's been passed to where students that record these certain things can be can receive the same discipline as the students that are participating. Now, last week, you may remember I brought you the story of the substitute teacher who was attacked at CMS Alternative School Turning Point. Well, I reached out to my contacts at CMS again tonight about this latest incident. I have not gotten a response from them on either one.